All right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today what I got in store is me opening up and checking out one of my favorite binders, but a new variation of it. Right now in front of me, I have one of the Ultra Pro Deck Builders Premium Pro Binders. It's one of the four column binders, really great for displaying your play sets. And the original one is honestly one of my favorite binders. And they did come out with some new uh, releases. They have just different colors. I believe that's the only real difference. They came out with like uh, a blue one, a red one, and a black one. It's called like Jet, Ruby, and uh, this. what is this one called? Let me just see. This one is called uh, Sapphire. And I got the blue one because blue is my favorite color. And I just kind of want to go over, open it, uh, give it my first overall opinion review. I have done a review on a product like this in the past, but it was just the original one, and I have that one right here. Honestly, one of my favorite binders, and I'm just going to be comparing it kind of side to side. Uh, keep in mind, these things are huge. They're giant. They're absolutely huge. Uh, right off the bat, uh, they are the same size as which I was hoping. I think the only real difference is going to be the material that it was made from. But the, uh, the original one... The Deck Builders uh, Premium Pro Binder from Ultra Pro is probably one of my favorite uh, binders ever. Love it for storing play sets and stuff like that. And obviously, this one was just full of my slivers and stuff like that. Gotta love your slivers. And But honestly, these are some of my favorite binders ever. And we're just going to kind of go over it and see if it's the same construction and everything. And give my overall opinion review and test it with a bunch of cards. Give it a bunch of shakes and just go from there. Anyways, let's just check out the exterior of it. It comes in this like lined bag like this. Uh, right now, I believe you can get these for around like $23 plus shipping so maybe around like $30 or something like that that's just like kind of a rough guesstimation uh, these hold 480 cards a standard and small cards and ultra pro deck protector sleeves I'm gonna be testing it unsleeve sleeve uh, ultra pro penny sleeves uh, KMC Perfect Fit, and also just uh, Dragon Shield sleeves as well. Kind of go through that it says it has a premium padded cover <coughs> part of my throat Designed for collecting play sets of your favorite trading cards. Really awesome design. There's play sets. Uh, well, you can store your play sets. There's four uh, rows and then three columns, which is pretty cool. Uh, embossed middle black web material frames card. So that's like the material underneath the plastic clear coating. We're going to check that out as well. Side loading pockets designed for added card protection. You don't insert the cards in the top. You insert them in slide. I do like that way. Acid free non PVC so you can leave your cards even unsleeved in there if you wanted and they won't get damaged or anything like that. It's a zippered closure for added card protection. Love the zippered closure. My favorite type of binders definitely have a zippered closure on them definitely do and again this is the ultra pro uh, deck builders premium pro brian let's just flip it over and check out anything on the back warning avoid suffocation keep away from kids this is ultra pro on the back and uh, that's pretty much all the information right there so let's just go ahead open this up and check it out <clears throat> pretty sure the last time i did a review of the original one um i was sick as well and now i'm just a little bit sick again who go go figure there we go. Let's see. There's a little hole up here. Let's see if I can get it. And keep in mind, these things are huge. I'll, once I get it out of here, I'll kind of compare it to some other binders. If I can get it out of here relatively easy. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Different. Way different material. Oh, wow. It looks really nice. It looks really nice. They said it's a, it's, called, it's like a suede the original one is some sort of more of a matte pleather type of feel. This one has a more um, fabric kind of suede feel, like some sort of material for like a, a jacket or lining or something like that. Um, this one is uh, more rubberized. This one has like a softer kind of feel to it. I thought it would show up a bunch of fingerprints or anything, but it looks like these darker spots are just printed on there. And it doesn't matter which direction you rub it. Very cool. So it is a different kind of feeling. Uh, I do believe they are going to be the same thickness once completely loaded up they look like about the same thickness uh, the zipper looks the same what does uh yeah the same same zipper pull tab pretty much the same zipper pull tab metal zipper pull tab which is really nice and let's just zip it open and check it out really like it you got the ultra pro embossed logo right down there and the zippers super nice not getting caught or anything like that and then obviously it comes with all of these uh, for whatever reason tissue paper just inserted in there and this can hold up to 480 cards very cool and in the middle uh, in the middle there is you can see the middle right here they kind of pressed it into there I think they kind of heat or ultrasonically welded it in there very nice and I remember the original time I got one of these I was rubbing my fingers on this part and I got black 
kind of ink on my fingers. So it doesn't look like that's a problem anymore. Very nice. And the inside of it feels like some sort of felt material. Almost just a little bit softer than the exterior. Just like a little bit softer time of felt material. Uh, it's a pretty thick board cover right there. Really like it. And uh, these are really great for displaying your places and stuff like that. Everything is really nicely constructed. It lays flat. It doesn't want to kind of close by itself like some binders do. And just for size comparison, I want to compare it to just a couple sizes. Um, <clears throat> let's see. This is a, a Z Folio one, just like a nine pocket binder. You can see this thing has about like three inches on it. So these things are huge. I have found it hard to fit in regular backpacks. I do have an Ultra Pro Citadel backpack and it will fit in there, but uh, very, very tightly. So just keep in mind, these things are huge and you might not have enough space for it in your backpack just because it is so... It's so big, I can barely get it all on camera right there. Then obviously these are just some very small um, four pocket binders and it's, it just dwarfs them. These are absolutely tiny compared to it. So that's just like a quick size comparison. Compared to the original one, they are exactly um, the same size. Exactly the same size, which is nice, as you'd, ex as you'd expect it to be. Anyways, let's just go ahead and test it with a bunch of cards and sleeves and stuff like that. Um, I've done this in the other video before, but I just want to do it again. Obviously, these are for standard size Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, they won't fit anything oversized. So anything oversized, just completely out of luck. These are fun cards, by the way. Um, so anyways, let's just go ahead and fill these up. I'm going to be testing with some unsleeved cards. And just, just fill it some unsleeved cards. Sarah Angel, some Dingus Egg. And then just some random, some random cards. Fill it up with some unsleeved cards. And then I'll be doing some shake tests and stuff like that just to see how it holds up if anything was going to flop out or anything like that. There we go. Just some random cards. There we go. Let's just do one page of that. All right. Set this here. Let's go to page two. And then page two, let's do, just do them random. Just have a small little pile of, um, these are just Ultra Pro Penny Sleeve cards right here. Nice little counter spell. Slide in. I do like how these are side loading pockets, uh, which is really nice. Um, the back behind uh, the translucent plastic is very smooth and like uh, very smooth and slippery. The cards glide in and out very easily. Nothing's getting caught. I'm not worried about damaging cards, sliding them in and out. They really do a great job of uh, construction. And I believe all of the kind of... Uh, the heat welded parts right here, they are very tight. Nothing's gonna like rip off. Like I did do a review on another binder in the past and some of these just like broke almost instantly. We'll give it a bunch of shakes and see what happens from there. And I'm just going to load up some other cards as well. Uh, these are in dragon shield sleeves, I do believe. And then this one is in a KMC perfect fit sleeve. I only have one of those on me right now. This is a KMC perfect fit sleeve right here. Uncle Istvan, very cool. Actually I have a tiny miniature of this guy as well. A lot of fun. So let's just slide in. This is a KMT perfect perfect fit. Obviously fits perfectly. Um, fun card right here. Nameless Race. If any of you have ever seen this, this looks like um, Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender. I wonder if that's a coincidence or they completely took it from there. But I mean, that is almost a spitting image. Very cool. This is from The Dark that came out before the TV show as well. And then I'm just going to fill in these. Uh, this is a Dragon Shield uh, one of the non-matte sleeves, and then these ones are all Dragon Shield matte sleeves. So let's just load it up with some cards right here. Then we'll do some shake tests and stuff like that. And you can really pack these with 480 cards, just a whole bunch of cards. And uh, top loaders, will this fit top loaders? No, it, it sadly won't fit any top loaders. So just keep in mind, this isn't for top loader storage or anything like that. I might as well just put this last card in here. All right, now let's just go ahead and close it on up. Super easy to zip, and let's just shake it, throw it, do some stuff, not break my background. Oop, my poor background. Probably any normal rough transit. This is probably way more than that. All right. A couple flips. We'll almost hit the camera. And let's just open this up and see if anything slipped around. Oh, surprisingly, an unsleeved cards. Uh, did do a little bit of slipping, as you can expect, um, but I'm pretty sure the sleeve cards kind of stayed there. Oh wow, these ones are kind of back to back inside of each other, kind of hard to... There we go. So it is possible that uh, they could slide around unsleeved cards. Uh, the sleeve cards, a little bit of jostling, nothing too crazy, but a little bit of jostling. 
but I did shake the heck out of that. So just keep in mind, it is possible that there could be a little bit of, uh, of movement with these cards in here. Nothing fell out of the sleeves, which is great, but there could be a little bit of movement there, especially if you're shaking it around like a madman, just like I did. And just remember, I did shake it, I whipped it on the ground, and I flipped it all around uh, everywhere. And I do believe if you pack this completely full, there will be less movement for wiggle room, so the cards will most, most likely not fall out. Um, but do keep in mind, if you do shake it a lot, uh, some of the cards could slide around. Unsleeved cards have a more of a tendency to slide just because they are a little bit looser in there. And since uh, it's easy to slide them in and out, the cards could slide out, I guess, if you really shook it or something like that. But honestly, even if you drop it on the ground, uh, it's not going to just shake. Like, I was shaking it like crazy. Let's just take it like this and see what happens okay even with it open and shaking it like that none of the cards fell out so honestly super satisfied with it I think what really got him to shake out was when I was thudding it on the ground boom boom and it was really just causing the cards to shift um, yeah but Honestly, these are my favorite sort of card storage binders. I love how you can have play sets across. Super easy, really great for just like collecting play sets of cards. Uh, you can just easily organize it and be like, okay, I got my play set here. I know that I have, you can take two out, know that you have two more that you can put in your deck or something like that. Just really great for like collecting play sets, stuff like that. I love these binders and you can really load them up. This one is super heavy now, pretty much almost full. And uh, yeah, just overall, a really great card binder by Ultra Pro. This is the Ultra Pro um, Deck Builders Premium Pro Binder. This is the suede variation. They do have some new suede ones. This is the sapphire. They have a ruby and a jet. Uh, the jet is a black. The sapphire is a blue. And the ruby is a red. And I believe they just came out. I, I pre-ordered this, like, honestly, so long ago. And I think it was supposed to ship in August. But I literally just got it today. So it took quite a long time to get here. I don't know if they had backups in the production facility or something like that. But anyways, a lot of fun to check this out and give it my overall opinion and review. Uh, everything on the pages seems to be uh, great. Uh, and one thing is, like, if I do this uh it doesn't really crease up the plastic it's all very good quality plastic which is really great yeah so honestly super satisfied with these and i do like how this one you can rub your fingers on it and you don't get any of the black material the first one i had a review on i did this and had some weird black uh ink or something on my fingers just from i guess production or something like that and i guess they kind of fixed that at the source which is really nice Anyways, super easy binder. Really like how they're side loading, uh, not top loading, anything like that. I love how it's a zipper closure. So even if you drop it and shake it like a madman and one decides to fall out, it's not going anywhere because it is a zipper closure that goes all the way around. Zipper is a great quality zipper as well. Um, I believe these are plastic teeth, but the metal, it is a metal zipper itself. Really great. It fits uh, sleeve cards, unsleeve cards, just standard size cards. You're not going to fit anything larger than a Magic the Gathering card. I believe you can fit like Yu-Gi-Oh! cards because they are smaller and of course you could fit like Pokemon those are the same size but anything bigger than that you're not going to be able to fit love how you can flip play sets in here if it's 480 cards uh, really great um, just portfolio binder right here anyways just want to do an overall opinion and review of this binder I hope this video was informative of help for you help you make a decision let me know what you think uh, let me know if you have any questions about it I just want to say thanks for stopping by I hope you're all doing wonderful day today and keep on keeping on uh, be nice to everyone around you and I hope you're having a beautiful wonderful day